your reign of terror needs to stop. Hello? Big money Rolf in the house. This is my new Wookiee shirt. Is that new? Yeah, I got it yesterday. I almost commented, like, Chewbacca! <laughs> Yeah, I saw this once before, and they only had it in a triple extra large, and I was like, I was like, well, that's, that's not meant to be. You can't get me presents anymore? We're not like that? Would you wear this? Because if I see another one, we can wear it together. We can wear We can both wear I don't like showing a lot of skin. Well, you burn a lot. What? I said, you burn a lot. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm like, what? What is that slang for now? <laughs> I feel like it's darker. Oh, would you mind turning on the light switch? Oh, you're hooked up. We have a stick. We throw something important at it. What are you doing? I guess that's fine. Anything else? No. I'm gonna plug this in. You're gonna think it's going off. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna happen 100. percent There. I hate recording. Sorry. We were recording this whole time. All right. Should we do an intro? For what? All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of We Talking About. As always, I'm Zim. This is Lee, and today we're going to be talking about what annoys you about the younger generation. Anyone younger oh. than you that they don't get, they uh, they they take it the wrong way, they do that we they shouldn't do. Uh -huh, uh -huh, In uh -huh. general, what pisses you off okay. about these people? As, as the viewers may not be aware, I don't know these topics, or one of us comes with, with the topic, the other does not know it, so I've not been able to, to, to prepare a list. And that's why Lee but, goes first. <laughs> but the first thing that comes to mind, and I don't know if this is just young people or all people I hate, but at some point in like the history of like the world, we 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 started using the word itch to mean scratch when you're scratching, <laughs> when you're scratching an itch. And I, I literally remember the first time I heard this, and it was a foreign guy who had a long pinky nail and was saying, nah, bro, I just use this to itch my face or whatever. And I was like, oh, how cute. He doesn't speak English. He doesn't understand, like, how you use these words. And I didn't correct him. He was older than me. I was working some summer job or whatever, and this guy had, like, a Coke pinky, and I was like, uh, hey, what's up with that? It was the whole thing. But uh, then I started hearing it everywhere, and I feel like now no one says that you scratch an itch. Like, that's a... What? You, like, itch an itch? Your thing itches, so you itch it? I don't understand that at all, and it bothers me every time I hear it, but everyone's like, what are you talking about? It's fine. That reminds me, like, and this is not a thing I hate about people, but I didn't like it anyway, but it makes me think. I used to know these people, and they were, they were like, right off the boat, like, from Africa. So, like, their language was a little bit different and, and not, like, you know, learned as I learned through school. They had to learn theirs, like, you know, coming across. Sometimes they'll speak almost like a British-y, like, English yeah, or something. Yeah, but the, the one I'll never, and I've said this to you before, is okay. make me have this. <laughs> make me have this? <laughs> like, asking, like, can I have this? And you're like, are you casting a spell? What make do you me mean? have this? <laughs> and, and as a child, and I'm, like, eight or something, I'm like, make you have this. Like, hold you down and give you that goddamn like, candy bar. <laughs> Oh. I'll make you have it. <laughs> oh, I'll make you have it whether you like it or not. He was uh, saying, like, give that to me. Or yeah, like, like, can I take this? Can I have this? Make, make me, me have, have this? this? Do the needful? Yeah. yeah. Now we're just picking on foreign people. Well, you, you, but, you opened uh, up a can of worms. Or like, Black like, guy uh, before, yeah. like, don't and no being swapped. Oh, please tell me that. That's, that's oh, horrifying. Oh, you ever heard that before? Give me an example. My brain's not able to take those and, and turn um, those ends. Or, or actually, I guess it would be not and no. But, okay. Or it, it's one of those things where, like, if you don't know the words, you don't know the words, you're using whatever you have to fill that slot. So, like, like um, he didn't help me, you would be like, what you want to say? He no help me. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, that happens too often, and I just like it. Like, in terms of trends, though, more with language or whatever, it, there's, there, there's a bunch of, like, little things that you'd notice and I feel like there's no way to do this without coming off as racist or hating on people, but like a certain demographics of people do this more than others, where you'd say like he's gonna like do something with these monies or whatever. Like you pluralize certain but things. But no, but hang on. You don't pluralize I'm other sure, things. I'm or whatever. sure that shit happens and we've done this before, and I know people uh -huh. look at us like we're an idiot because we say things ironically or as a joke. Or as a joke and yes. people like like I say internets on the YouTube. Yes. And people yes, look at yes, me like yes. on the YouTube. Look at this yokel, and I and I I know they do this, and I know you do this, people that watch this, because I know you, and uh, 
that that's a bugs the shit out of me when I'm like, can you I not think, tell I'm smart enough to be I, using these words? But I think some people are not doing it as a joke. No, no, but I that's that's what I'm saying. It. So it starts at the top here. Yeah. You're, you're, you're educated people that are saying things ironically or or mocking, like you know. Well, no. But then there's then I there's think a it's whole flipped. Yeah, we're like, well, no, no, but, they are well, yes. doing it, and we're making a joke out of the fact. But that either some way, you're perpetuating that. this vicious yes. cycle. No, no. Where now people are hearing that. you say it, and yeah. that comes out of things. So you have these people that are on on like TV on whatever, and and they're saying these things. On the Ironically ends. or not, but there people are now seeing them say these things. Totes. Oh man, totes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I talked to somebody at work about like slang because he. Uh, what happened? I said like I said somebody killed it or something like that, and he was like, "Oh, I hate that. I hate how he's always saying blah blah blah." I'm like, "No, my grandma used to be like, oh, you slay me. Like it's a this is like a this is like a long standing when someone does something good or whatever, uh -huh. they, they killed it or whatever. That's fine or whatever." And we got launched into this whole thing about slaying, and I was like, "When I was like an adolescent, people called things the bomb, and now they just say that it's bomb, and sometimes even just it's not on now fire. Now it's just duh. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's just." fire or something weird it's like lit. where you have to change and uh, I actually explained to him but that's not the kind of stuff that I'm talking about here but what I explained was like kids have to make different slang so they can identify outsiders because they won't know the slang your mom will say are you on the Twitter and you'll go Ugh, like you're not a yeah, part yeah. of our group or like whatever because you'll like say it wrong but then or different like groups that. take over things too like I remember like like an old like like Yiddish or Jewish thing would be like oh these shoes they're so comfortable they're like butter, like butter. and then you'd hear butter became it became a more of a like you know yeah. a thing and then people were like oh he He's saying this. It's like, no, they've been saying this for years. Right, that was the thing, like, like back in the about. ghetto. Right. The ghetto, like, when the ghetto was people in a ghetto. <laughs> like, well, not the ghetto. The ghetto. Was, was Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> no, because some rapper watches a gangster movie and hears something yes, and then takes exactly, it, cause puts it in a song. Why is Scarface so popular? I don't know. Everyone Scarface loves Scarface. Is. And I haven't seen Scarface lately, but this this funny guy on, on like a podcast, this came up, and he said like, I feel like they must only watch the first half of Scarface <laughs> they too, because the, the Scarface doesn't end well for him. So if you're like, I'm Tony Montana, it's like, really? Is that a good idea? Well, that, like similarly with Scarface, is like the the popularity of of like Mick Jagger lately with all Ooh. this bullshit. Is that because of moves like it's Jagger? It's literally that. That's the reason. I wonder. That's the reason. It's a hundred percent moves like Jagger brought Jagger into thing and Swagger. The the fact that Swagger rhymes with Jagger has made Mick Jagger so much more popular. I'm, I can see myself getting red You're because I'm out. actually angry about stupid things like this. But oh yeah. Well, but. In, in in like the world's defense, Swagger does rhyme with Jagger. Yes, and Mick, it does. And, and it's it's weird that we've only discovered this now. But no one ever no one <laughs> ever was like, oh, he's he's so he's got so much Swagger. He Un has a <laughs> tremendous amount of of yes, like swag. Yes, he, he jumps That's like whatever, one of his but... only. I don't have to see a gesture. I can't do those gestures, but like do he does, like the head move and his hands go from the mighty Bush when he's like does the thing. that. That's like literally where I get my impression like, from is from the Bush. Um, ah, it just drives me nuts. <laughs> but uh, like well, recently, so, yeah. lit, lit was the one You're that drove me. Lit a lot. It's, it's really lit a lot. any yeah. anything you hear that somebody says six times in in like your first interaction with them, or like you know, I could know you for years and it would still bother me the same. But if you say if you have one go to phrase, kind of like in the '90s, it was like. You'd hear like constantly. Okay. You're, you're familiar with this? You remember this? I do. Valley girl. Like, 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 like. Yeah, yeah I still say like a lot. But no, yeah. they do. And uh, but like is a common when word. A, when it's a if crush, your thing, when it's a, if your thing yeah. is, uh, I can't even think of the dumbest things in the world now. But yeah, like, pretty, I just said I'm lit. I'm pretty caked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like oh, like oh, swag, swag, hashtag if you say swag. Caked up several times. Or Whatever, yeah. Anything you say multiple times, I think you're a moron, and I want to kill you. Literally is one of those things. Oh, People say literally. literally so many times, and and it bugged me so much because. 94% of the time, and I've done a poll, I know it's 94%, literally is used wrong. Literally 94% of the <laughs> time? It's, it's so infuriating. Literally. It's, it's, it's infuriating me. I'm infuriated in. It's most funny when someone uses that, like, to say literally, when it, like, literally doesn't mean literally in Yes, that I'm literally case. dying. Ah. It literally like, took forever. Like, <laughs> like, like they're trying be. to stress how long it took, and they're choosing that as a. So I don't know. That's 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 all within the one category of like language, though. Yes. Is yes. there anything else that like annoys you? That well, is not? what what actually was in my head the first yeah. time about this was just the amount of 
TV shows, movies, actors, uh, older bands. And older bands is a relative term because I'm not that old. And if they're a band that was around popularly when I was younger, yeah. that's a pretty recent thing. It would still be on the classic rock station because Re- things are retarded. Real quick, hold that thought because there's, there's a heartbreaking thing that happens when someone's like, uh, oh, like, you know, Foo Fighters, Green Day, like certain bands, and I say, like, well, I like their old shit. And then they say, oh, yeah, like, vi- like oh, oh, yes. Oh, like Nimrod? And I'm like, no, that's, like, very new shit. And then I'm like, wait, how old am I? Oh, God, that came out, like, 12 years ago or 15 years ago or something. And you're like, oh, fuck, that's, that's now the old shit. I'm like, I liked the shit from before they were, like, when, when Green Day was on Epitaph, I, I, I liked that shit. Well, that's when you realize so when someone's out of their depth. When they when they come in, like I was well, talking about the really Beastie the Boys not too long ago, okay, I was like, example. I was like, you know, when they're beginning stuff, when they were punk, and someone's like, they were never punk, and like, because they go. don't even know like yes. old shit, but like that happens all the time with shit. Ah, it drives me nuts. Pandora also drives me nuts. That's that's a young person thing, so I'm gonna count that. Where they just they just mixing any one of your game stations, giving you things they know you want, but it's not part of that station. Fuck you. Oh, these young people. So all right, so you hate when. <clears throat> There's either a band you said or another thing or some other stuff. You're not that old, but yeah. You so were I'll, say you're I'll, talking to young people about. You're talking them. to somebody and like you you say something. Oh, that's funny. What is that from? But it's the most obvious thing in the world. Okay. Like if like soup du jour, that sounds good. I'll have that. And they're like, what's that from? And I'm like, you don't know Dumb and Dumber. They don't know Dumb and Dumber. And and yeah, I wonder. But sometimes. like things like that, where I'm like, these are these are on lists of like classic movies. It's not that I I do like obscure movies. I'm I'm into obscure movies. I I have a, a a quite the collection of film. But the things I'm generally quoting are super popular. Like like recently, not having like a more than half people not uh, that I was working with not know Bill and Ted. I was oh, like I was like, well, wow, you've just struck a fuse, <laughs> or like my cords are broken. Like, I am a powder keg ready to explode. <laughs> things like that, where I'm like, these are very popular films the idea the, yeah no. like I wonder what it must be like for someone in this new age group where I feel like because um, sometimes people know things but they don't know where they're from yeah well that, mean, like that means they don't know them well yeah but like you'll like quote like a Wayne's like, World I was just thing gonna say, yeah, Wayne's or World. something like that and you go like well you've not seen that right I'm sorry seen what and you're like how was is there a vine? You just said like, swing. What, yeah, what did you do like, that for? Like how? Like how? Like how did that filter into you? And 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 they never know. And and why? Why do I interrogate all these children? I don't know. But like I. I really wonder, because for us, like, there was only these movies that came out, and everyone would see the movie, because there was nothing else to do compared well, to, like, today. I blame, I so, blame like, a couple of things for this. It's, well... The internet, of course, has ruined a lot of things, but it's also made it so much easier, you don't really have any fucking excuse for not seeing things. But really, I think it comes down to... YouTube, I think. It yeah. comes down to the CW being Channel 11 now, and not the WB, and then uh, UPN not being, you know, My9 instead of being UPN. So you had Paramount, and you had Warner Brothers, two of the biggest movie companies that owned a TV... TV show that pumped owned a channel that pumped shit into your fucking house, so would, you, you uh, would see Willow every every four days. Like you had things. No, that's where I saw Conan and Terminator. Exactly, you know, edited for TV. Of course, as like the initial cut. But no, like would kids even watch movies on Channel Nine today? I feel like they would be like on the on the Instagrams. No, but it's stuff, it's right? all that thing. Like that's why I blame it as like one thing: the internet like, that has taken over. But. Like, a movie is a big ask. It's a big, like, commitment. If someone's like, you, spend two hours of your life just staring at something. Everyone's like, like, because you have, like, your iPad, your phone, your thing, your other thing. You're like, I can't possibly put all these down and watch fucking young Mike Myers and what's his name and this fucking thing do all this stupid stuff. Is that... Dana Carvey. I know his name. uh, I'm here for them. They're young. They don't know his name. (laughs) Tia Carrera. Dude, Tia Carrera from Rob Relic Lowe. Hunter. She wasn't from Relic Hunter, but she then later on went to be a Relic Hunter. That show was great. I'm just picturing them watching it and not getting it and being like, is that funny? It doesn't count one or two. Like, what am I, what's the joke here? I fell on my keys. Does he mean his keys? Does he mean, like, his balls? Like, I don't get it. What's going on here? The idea that people, like, but there are many movies that, like, are very time, or shows that are very time-sensitive, where if you don't catch them within a certain amount, they're like, you know, all the references don't make any sense. But a lot of these classic uh-huh. movies that I'm talking about are everlasting. They will, they will always be funny. They will always be good. Like, like you just mentioned Mike Myers, and I th- immediately thought of So I Married an Axe Murderer, and I know you haven't uh-huh. seen that. Not you, them. And, the uh, soundtrack it's just, alone. It's great. Uh, that movie's great. I, I own that soundtrack. That movie's so great. Holy shit. 
See, see this, see this. That's what you could be doing, yeah. but you're not because you're a bastard. No, but like I wonder if, if if they just missed it forever. If if like you can't go back, I'll I'll never know what you it's like to today to go back to watch a movie from then that that didn't flow to me naturally. I do that. I do that all the time. Still now, like You've I've seen, seen them I've before, seen most. Right? No, no, no. But I'm yeah. saying I've seen most things. Yes, but I'll still watch them again like on YouTube or whatever and then afterwards it shows you those things like, on the side that are like similarly usually just, just the date because how things get coded to get up on YouTube and not get taken down it'll just say like you know, like 1990 movie blah 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 and I'm like oh and I'll watch movies I've never seen before and I okay. generally enjoy that time period a lot more than I enjoy things from yeah, now. Yeah, but I think that we're just tuned into that time period. I, well yes that, that's certainly true. You do have a predisposition for things that you you started with, but it's it's more than that. It's the fact that you had actors actually acting, yeah, like yeah. you had you had film that cost money. That there was no like, oh yeah, we'll get it eventually. There was no like, there was improv, but not to the degree there is now. So there were scripts that were fine tuned and funny. You had sets that were actually built. Yeah, don't you get had, me wrong. Like, good I, I think that they're better, but I still think that it's and uh, all the movies that come out yeah. now are just those again, yeah. except done worse. So yes, no, things were better. Things were way better. Yeah, but it's weird today to, to like talk to someone because I think that kids feel like they know everything more so now because of the internet and how they have access to everything. And then like entire actors, remember the Ed Norton? Yeah. Kid, kid like nine years, eight, you know, eight or nine years younger than us did not know who Ed Norton was at all. And I started racking my brain like I guess he hasn't been in anything like kind of lately-ish. But that still seems so weird to me to just have a it's whole actor strange. missing because he was in Fight Club and a few other things that were so iconic and like, uh, but on, even a young on, kid should still know those like the Hulk. See. Like, well, yeah, you would think people would know, and you like, know, and whatever. most people know American History X. Like the and like, but this kid had seen nothing. <laughs> Like, you should know Ed Norton from being on a couple of different lists at this point, but I guess maybe yeah. not. I don't fucking... Uh. That, like, creeps me out, though, because it's like, well, that's just because you're old. You probably don't know of some, like, new person. And I'm like, there's no good new people. And I'm like, ah, I'm old. Fuck. It's awful. Like, is that true? Oh, God. <laughs> no, but... Because who's new now that, that we don't know or whatever? Well, if we, if we knew that, then we'd know them, and this would be irrelevant. Well, I mean, like, we, okay, like, we, we see the movies coming out. I see, like, the cast lists. Whenever I see, like, a, movie, like a, a movie poster now, I'm like, I don't know who any of those fucking people are at all. That's, like, my usual, like, uh, reaction or whatever. Ah, uh, how sad. And most famous people that I do know, I feel like I, like, knew already from something or I know them through, like, a thing. I don't watch a lot of comedies anymore. I just watch, like, weird shit and superhero movies. Mm -hmm. And we all know those people, but a lot of those actors are either older or they were already had careers or were more established or something like that. Like, I, I can't claim, like, I'm hip. I know Robert Downey Jr. Like, that doesn't... <laughs> That does not have the same I knew him thing. before his drug problems. And after. I say, I and after again. I watched, I watched him two career-ending like changes ago. Or whatever. Uh. Yeah. So young people, they're always on their phones. They're always posting But the, Oh, things. I wanted to chime in with this, but I was in the middle of a roll. So it's, it, it's a perceived <laughs> knowledge of things. Yeah. You're saying they, like, they, they do think they know things because they do have you know, at, you know, things we didn't have, the ability to, to fact-check anything. But I yeah. read a thing about how that... that, per, that that destroys long-term memory because there's no need to remember anything anymore. So kids now, like... You just look it up, yeah. Kids now, you can't even remember phone numbers. And and I've experienced this where I, you, I, I still remember all the phone numbers, I think, from when I was a, a child, but I don't know any phone numbers now. I only know the first, uh, you know, six of yours because it's the same as mine. I said, I don't know your phone number. Um, <laughs> I should. But yeah, I know, I know, yeah, we used I know to a couple like... peoples, but in general... No, if, if my girlfriend was locked out of the house or, or I was locked out of the house and had to call her from your phone, I couldn't. That was a weird analogy. If I was locked out, whatever. I couldn't call. I, I have people. keys, so that yeah. would probably, but if we, bu no, like, um, and I've heard, call my own so mother. that's kind of like a mixed bag. It's kind of this like weird thing that I've heard back and forth. I feel like we are in this unique position. We were born at like the exact right time. Whereas like a kid, when I was like a young, young kid, especially, there was no internet at all. Like, yeah. you, you would have arguments about whether that was Bill Paxton or Bill Pullman in that movie. And then someone would be like, no, that was the guy from this, and he played her dad on Contact. And you're like, who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is. No, he was on, ha like, you do all these weird things. It was just get, about who was louder. Get into, like, they won. <laughs> but, like, now I, I, I wonder what people do instead of having those arguments, because anyone could just look it up. Like, 
when like we only have fights about that now when the power goes out that feels really weird when to we're me. in dead zones or you're like I'm conserving my power that's not you know that not was a, enough that was a gigantic part of like life was having discussions about things where had you been able to fact check it instantaneously because it wasn't even like you didn't have a phone that had like a like quick web browsing or like apps where like websites didn't have mobile versions or Wikipedia didn't mm -hmm. have m.wiki like there was no computer in the house with the internet either there were like books yeah. that were like printed in 1987 or something and you'd be like I don't fucking what it was this whole thing yeah. like when you did a book report you like went and got a book from like the library and had to like read the book. Yeah, I or recall something. that the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> yeah, it was not my friend. There was an entire thing about fight. Like there was a whole there's a whole thing now. And along with chimney sweeps and a bunch of other stuff, they're just like gone seemingly. Yeah. I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I've heard that it destroys your memory. I feel that. I I've noticed like a change in me where if you get like um like a We'll call them books, but I don't know what else to say. Like, when I'm presented with a large... Like, I, I read all day. I read, like, tweets and emails and articles. I read code. I have a job. I do things with that stuff. I'm reading, like, Wikipedia pages about things I need to know about to do other things. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly reading. My brain is constantly turning letters into words into my brain. But if I'm presented with, like, three or four paragraphs... Like, you ever get linked to, like, an article... Mm -hmm. And you go to read like the first sentence because you're like, this is an interesting topic. This guy has a robot arm. And like the first sentence is like, I stepped off the train in, in like Milwaukee and the family was there to meet me to go to the hot. And you're like, what the fuck? What is this, a story? And you're just like. Yeah, yeah. I wanted fact stripped and just bullet yeah. pointed. And then you like look down. And it's like page one of seven. I don't fuck this. Control W. Get the fuck out of here. I can't read all I'll this. I'll have to like, go text. back because Reddit is usually what's linking with now. Go yeah, to the thing. Top, and I'll scroll the thing and it'll just be like the little like no, blog like, of what they did. Like top comment will just be like someone who did all that work yeah. for you and you're just like but then God bless that bastard. whenever that happens I'm like what's wrong with me I can't like read read an article people used to just have newspapers and read all these articles all the time but I just um, I see all these words I'm like oh fuck can I just many most people I feel would used to read cover to cover the newspaper but there was nothing Lots else to do stuff. what do you do listen to the radio and hear an old timey show where they pop balloons and that's how you get shot fuck that I like this. I just imagine that there's there's uh, there's someone else recording a show just like this about our generation, and then uh, saying, "Oh, these yeah, motherfuckers, they don't listen to the radio anymore." Well, that's the thing, though, is like we. Um, I didn't read a. I I I read a lot more as a kid than I read now. I think you've talked about reading books, yeah, right? I like to book read books, right? Yeah. We, well, we. Uh, I know. prefer to read a book than to read online. I like to hold something. Yeah. I mean, like, we've done, like, the graphic novel thing, and we've done other stuff, but you've read, like, novels mm -hmm. as well. Like, when I was a kid, like, science fiction, fantasy novels, stuff like that or whatever. But um, that shit's not happening for me anymore today. I feel like kids today are probably not doing that to the same degree. But um, we were still reading books and still doing whatever. We were doing the same. Like, our parents watched TV with commercials that came on at a certain time, and so did we for a time, but then during our lifetime ha is when it's changed. And people after us have never experienced the other way, with mm -hmm. like, I'm just gonna read a book. Oh, oh the cable's yeah. out. Like, that shit, I, I can't imagine coming home from work and sitting on this couch and just reading a book. That seems so yeah. weird to me. I'm, I, I'm always doing like three things, and even then I'm like, I should be doing that other thing too. Like. It's this weird. I, rem I remember sitting change. in the bed, like playing Xbox, having an iPad on one side of me, my phone on the other, like, like you know, like it's loading. All right, <laughs> nothing. There's no downtime. I do everything I have to do. Yeah, people on like. But I do miss. Yeah. I miss TV with commercials sometimes. Where I'm, really? like, I'm like, just for the fact where it's like, okay, break point to pee. And I'll find myself having to pee and not hitting pause because I'm like, well, just gotta finish it. Just gotta finish it. And you're like, and you're rocking. You're rocking. <laughs> you're like, I really gotta go. I really gotta go. I really gotta go. I'm in full control of the power button. I could hit pause. Nope. Well, and it becomes a weird like task. Like, like it's not that it's work, but it's kind of like like I'm always favoriting tweets and saving articles on Reddit and like emailing myself notes to like check something or do something. And you have your queue on like Netflix. Like you have all these things. Like you have to like do them or something like that. Oh yeah. Whereas TV before, obviously, it was just seven o'clock and this is what's on. You know what's it's weird a for me? Vibe. You know? Before Reddit came into my life. Okay. I used to go on the computer a good amount, and I had websites and things I would check and blah, 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 blah. I don't know what those were anymore. Yeah. I only use Reddit. I open the internet. It's just Reddit. 
when I'm done, I close it. It's gone. I couldn't yeah. imagine what else I used to do. I know there were forums. There were things I would do. They're was, all gone. It was the Wild West. I, I remember explaining that to someone who, who didn't use Reddit or something like that, and it being this, like, strange thing. So weird. A lot of people use Facebook for that. That's their, like... Yeah, yeah. They're, like touch point their home point Facebook of, like, I barely internet. ever use now Facebook is a thing no. that's like I just really on my phone it, it blinks I kind of check it on my weekend like, yeah you get notifications still yeah. and stuff yeah I do too but I ignore them mostly yeah. do you think kids are still using Facebook or are, are they're are, onto are, something new already are we old is Instagram even old now where are we with that it's Snapchat how is that good how is that it's, I don't like it but uh, okay. everyone seems to like it now we just sound like old people alright so that was this <laughs> week on uh <laughs> What are you talking about? Until next time, don't die in a fire. That's an abrupt ending. See, this is I f with shit like this. I don't f with you and her jacking off.